Are we live? You are live. We it's are live. I'm alive. You I'm see alive. anything in your thing? I do not. Oh. I do not. I have to refresh. How do we? Um, refresh. There you go. There you go. Hello. You're alive. You're alive. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm You're alive. alive. Hey everyone, it's Stacey and Bill here. I uh, just thought we'd do a quick, um, quick live clip. Click live. Actually, we're kind of trying this because we did a live stream, I don't know, three weeks ago or two weeks ago. It you didn't can work. see how short I am compared to you. Well, yeah, I'm really tall. That's barely in the shot. Yeah, that's, you know, here, I'll just do this. <laughs> I'll just kind of hang out. Is that better? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so today, I'm feeling a little, wah! I only have to work at Costco this evening. Um, so I've had a cheesy bun that I've been wanting to try for, gosh, probably about a month, month and a half or so. So, See, I can't hey there, that. we got Belle in GS Lucky Charm, Sabrina, Tommy, Connie. All right, yeah, he, he is a little bit, so stand at your full height so oh, we can yeah. see. Well, I'm 6'6". Six, six. So when we sit down, so, you don't yeah. really see. The five, four and a half and 6'6". <laughs> six, six. The difference, but yeah. yeah. So he's, he's a little bit of a big guy. Usually we're behind a table when we're talking. So we are. So we're usually table, like down like down. this and we're even and talking. And, <laughs> so he doesn't yeah. look so tall yeah. when we're sitting there, but um, hey, so, Keto Kelly, so we yeah, got we Happy we... Scratcher. Thanks guys for joining us. We weren't sure if anybody would be on or join us. I just us. figured we would sit here and talk and, and we're making what, cheesy buns? Cheesy buns. So they, um, my thought was to do them for hamburgers. And or anything. Same yeah, things. yesterday we did a um, hamburger bun. Um, and we that went live this morning yes yeah so that morning. went live this morning so that was actually pretty good it was a little denser than i thought however bill had a great idea last night he's like we should toast it and put butter on it yes so i think we're going to try that as well um oh connie thanks for subscribing and joining us we appreciate it yeah do we got yeah, um we haven't so do we go to the casino is what awesome gambler is asking oh yeah we, we do. Have. Firekeepers um, out here. Firekeepers, we've gone to. I think that's in Jackson, Michigan. So we've gone out there a couple of times. Um, Motor City Casino. I've worked there quite a few times. We do airbrush tattoos, um, and I did a lot of events at Motor City Casino. Um, but we only but, saw the back hallways. Right. We only saw you know the back way in, um, and then in their big sound room uh, doing the events for their tattoos and stuff there. So that was super fun. But we have not actually been to the Motor City saying, Casino. We're gonna go get a room and stay the night and actually go to the casino. We just haven't had right. the time <laughs> to do it. Yep. So we do want to go ahead and, and get over there and get yeah. that done. I I like to do the um, pixies. The wild pixies. Wild pixie it's, slot. Yeah. <laughs> it's a slot machine, so that's pretty cool. Hey, Keto Cowboy. Um, Tommy, I love cheese. I, actually, I was just eating cheese. I was sneaking some of my cheddar cheese cheddar. before, yeah, <laughs> before cheese we did cheese it. Meat. And I had chicken today with cheese melted on the top of it, which was fantastic. So do you need so, me to get out of the way so you can start putting these things together? Yeah, we can do. It's yeah. pretty. Uh, this is actually a three. Real simple. Si very simple recipe. Um, shredded mozzarella, large eggs, Parmesan, and then whatever seasonings you want to do. So, um, so. So you need a bowl. I need a bowl. And then you need what? Oh, Happy Scratcher! I love grilled cheese sandwiches. You know, we'll find the right. We're gonna bread find something that that's gonna work. That Doing the keto. Something. Um, for a grilled cheese sandwich, I liked the 15 grain bread because it has sunflower meats in it and all that other stuff. And I liked the queso cheese. Um, so it's the white queso cheese. That was the best for grilled cheese sandwiches. That was one of my favorites and I had that often. Um, but what kind of cheese is not your cheese? Nacho cheese. Nacho cheese. <laughs> I about choked when my daughter told me that I was eating. And she's like, hey, mom, what kind of cheese isn't yours? She was reading off the popsicle sticks and I was like, I don't know. And I just put a bite in my mouth and she's like, nacho cheese. And <laughs> just the way she said it too, right? <laughs> oh my goodness. So as you can tell, I love the corny jokes. Um, so I am going to have Bill move on over. Move. <laughs> move. Tommy, that one was for you. <laughs> oh, Tommy's in here too? Tommy's in here too. Yeah, I can't see everything. I'm too old. You're too old. Hey, Keto Michelle. <laughs> Oh, we're looking for Tommy461 is in here too. Cool. Yeah. Tommy, wasn't your name uh, Tommy G before? 
Or am I just hallucinating? He's just hallucinating. I'm kidding. I could have sworn it was Tommy G. <laughs> All right. Hello, Edward from Florida. Our day is going actually pretty well. I got to get my daughter off to school, and then I snuck back in bed next to Bill and went back to sleep. I got, I think, almost seven hours of sleep last night, which is Too large, right? a pretty record, pretty good record for me. So we are going to do a cup of my... So I have to do two yeah. half cups because... Because you need, uh, what, two, two I cups? I need one cup of shredded mozzarella. Which is, that's a half cup, so yep. two of those. So this is supposed to make four cheese buns, and they're flat, um, and kind of... I don't think that they're going to be as dense as the ones that I made yesterday were. I don't know. But Just we'll see. You know, I'm going to try it because I like cheese. And how much Parmesan? Half cup? This is a half a cup yep. of Parmesan. And there's your half cup. All righty. So this is an experiment. We've never tried this recipe. And just like with the hamburger bun that we did yesterday, we had never tried it. We just thought, why not make a video of it? Right. Give it a now, try. Now, you want to do the fan? Can you do it with one hand? Heck no. <laughs> I'm always envious of people that just go like this and crack it with one hand. I'm lucky to crack it and not get egg in there. Shell, yeah. Shell. I want the egg in there, but not the shell. There you go. Ooh. A little bowl for you. All right. So we were under tornado watch last night. Crazy. Just as we started the video, we were getting some pretty nasty weather. Um, wasn't sure if the power was going to stay on or off. And um, we had M&M sized hail. And that went away. And... Uh, Thunder, Quiet lightning. for a little bit, and then all of a sudden the sirens were going off. <laughs> Julia was not having a good time yeah, with that. Not... Can you get me a spatula? Sure can. Um, she was not having a good time. She was panicked because we could hear the sirens very well where we were at. So we ended up going down to the basement and watching some TV. I put some earphones on her so she could just watch one of her little movies. Um, my daughter, my oldest daughter, is at U of M uh, here in Ann Arbor. That's fine. Good enough. Um, here in Ann Arbor, and uh, they actually made them all evacuate to the stairwells. So it was a little, uh, a little crazy. Rain was going sideways, um, which was scary. Um, kind of get the hair on the back of your neck standing up. Yes, Tommy says it was Tommy G. Yeah, because I'm not crazy. Because I kept thinking, wait. And he caught that. He loved. He caught the cash He cow. says um, the stained glass, always oh, 100. Yeah. One of our dear, dear friends, um, Dr. Dr. Bell, Bell. Um, her dad does the stained glass. Um, so I drove, when I saw that on Facebook, I drove all the way down to Illinois. Uh, we're in Michigan, so I drove down to Illinois to meet her so I could get that because because we didn't want to ship it. We had a feeling it would get broken in shipping, and he would have made me another one, but that wasn't that wasn't, that wasn't the point. The point. Yeah. I, I I wanted that one, and of course, then I got to visit Dr. Bale and Butch, and yeah. then I got a really old pizza, and you know, yeah. and then I visited family as well, so that was pretty cool. All yeah. right, so we can do from New York, Jody from New York. Hey there, how are you? Yeah, so that weather was pretty scary. It lasted until, what, probably about 10, about 10 o'clock last night. Um, once the tornadoes, and apparently there was a few tornadoes that hit, not right in, directly in our area. Within, within 45 minutes. Yeah, um, where um, I think almost 70 homes were damaged, damaged and mm -hmm. not doing well at all. They always have trouble at the uh, manufactured home parks, the trailer parks. Because yeah. that's what we were seeing. The houses were all off their foundations exactly. and moved around. And do a little so. bit of Italian seasoning. Sure. These are, so in my cart here, I have all these fancy jars. Yeah. They actually stick to the refrigerator. Yeah, they're, they're magnetic. magnetic. Um, but I love these. And they fit right inside my little, I always do them the wrong way though. Bill yells at me every time I do it. It's totally fine. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> I go, now what are oh, we putting in? That's, that's what I was trying to do. Yeah. I'm a dork. So what are we putting in? Just a little bit of Italian seasoning. Oh, get a little flavor to get the Get a little bun. bit of flavor, a little bit of color. Cool. So what are we making again? Because there might be we new people in the We are making cheesy buns. Because I love buns. cheese. Yeah, and we're kind of hoping this turns into something that we make regularly, but we've never made it before, so... Oh, happy scratcher, no problem. Thanks for stopping in. We appreciate it. We're going to do our um, week 15 keto, keto update, update live tomorrow. I think about 9 o'clock-ish. 
Oh, um, well, we're Eastern time in Michigan, Eastern, and Eastern I'm thinking time. nine to nine fifteen ish. Yeah, so range. we're gonna do that live. Just do something a little bit different. I don't have to work uh, tomorrow at Camas, which I do uh, the park reservations for the national. Uh, excuse me, for the Michigan State Parks. Just Costco earlier in the day, and then we're going to do some body art tomorrow evening. I'm doing a bat mitzvah. Bat mitzvah. That's for the girl, I think. So the bat mitzvah. So we're doing a four-hour event tomorrow night, so that should be pretty fun. Yeah, Keto Cowboy, I, our daughter was physically shaking last night. She was so scared. And we're like, it's okay. The sirens were getting her. The hail was getting yes. her. We just all went down to the basement, and I turned the uh, TV on down there to kind of, I was hoping the power wouldn't go out, so just kind of mask the sounds that were going on outside with the sirens and everything. So I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees, so we're supposed to do these for 15 to 20 minutes. So just a small batch, really actually super easy. I feel like I need to put a little bit more seasoning in there. You can never have too much seasoning, can you? Well, I guess you can, but... I guess we'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> it's always an experiment in our house. Whenever we make something, we tend to deviate from the recipe in some respects bit. and uh, add things that we like, garlic, onion, powder, garlic powder, um, you know, stuff like that. Italian, like in this case, Italian, uh, what is it, Italian seasoning? Italian seasoning. You put in. All so right. now, so now I what's love the you, deal? But I, I have to take my rings off. Okay, so what's the deal here? You take it out and put it in plops? You just put it in, it says to take it out, put it in four mounds. So. So we're going to take it out and put it in four mounds. <laughs> Plop. It's a very wet. wet consistency. It's so funny when you make these things because they don't look like they're going to turn into anything good. Right. And then, and then it ends up being... Where it's not, so bad. not bad, yeah, like last night with the hamburger buns. Oh, I let's think I put, I put too much on the one. i got to make it yeah, smaller. There you go. Now you're focused in on what you're doing there. Cheesy bun, cheesy bun. So we're making three buns, apparently. No. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, like, you don't have to re-separate them. I'll steal from this one a little bit. I don't know if these are going to spread or not. Because I did one of the... Um, it's so hard to tell until you just make it. Yeah, you don't, you don't know. Once we do it, then we'll know for next time. Yeah. It almost looks like scrambled eggs. <laughs> Very wet scrambled eggs, yes. All right. Cheesy shoes. Yeah. <laughs> well, that'll be a smaller one. Cheesy That's something. Okay. Cheesy pancakes. Cheesy. I don't know. So now that you've mixed up those very simple ingredients... Yes, so very simple. So again, it's a, you can go ahead and pull it back up. Oh, a yeah. half a cup of mozzarella cheese, shredded mozzarella cheese, and two large eggs, and a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. So super simple. We'll see how they come out. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the oven. Okay. And so some of the other suggestions that they have is to use it for burger, hot dog buns, sandwiches, pizza dough, bagels, tacos, chalupas. Chalupa. I love chalupas. <laughs> I do miss chalupas. I love chalupas. So we'll see how this comes out, and we might end up doing it as a chalupa. We may. Um, I made the cheesy taco shells. You see the theme there, cheese. I love cheese. So we made cheesy taco shells. Thank goodness for um, cheese on keto, right? Yeah. At least you can have cheese. It's fantastic. Um, oh, timer. Let's see. So what are we cooking this for? It says 15 to 20. So we'll start so like 15, 17, 18. Well, we'll start at 15 Just and checking. then check because I don't know what's going to be. So tell me, what are some of the things that you guys are eating? Um, what's your favorite? Uh, I think I have stuff to make broccoli cheddar soup. Yeah, that sounds good. That's going to be my next thing we're making. Who I'm, knows? Maybe we'll be able to have one of these cheesy buns as the bun you eat with soup. If you want yeah. to roll with soup. You know? It's pretty cool. It seems pretty easy. Um, so I'm definitely going to try that. I might be able to do it. Maybe. I, I think I you can make do it. it. Well, oh. for this. Oh, this one. This yeah, this one's super, super easy. Simple. Three things. One cup of mozzarella, two large eggs, and a half a cup of Parmesan shaky cheese, right? <laughs> Tommy says he's... Um, Let's see. Tommy, I'm retired from the carnival, Edward. Were you really in the carnival, Edward? Or are you just being funny? 
Because we could guess the weight. <laughs> Bill can guess the weight. Pretty good at that. I don't know why. He can watch somebody. When we watch The Biggest Loser, I don't know if any of you ever watched that. Once he knows the height, he'll say, oh, they're going to weigh in at da 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 And he's almost always right on the money. Pretty close. It's, it's, it's pretty understandable. Did a lot of wrestling, a lot of football, and kind of, you know, you always kind of get an idea. You always have your weigh-ins. You right. always have your stuff. And I was pretty good at that. Pretty good. I could even tell when people Ooh. were overweight. Kelly's doing a fat head dough stuffed with homemade sloppy joes. I would eat that. Now see, I have a problem with sloppy joes. My sloppy joes are not like anybody else's sloppy joes. <laughs> I have a consistency issue with my food. This is very picky. I'm extremely picky. One of the few meats that I eat is boneless, skinless chicken breast. Um, Which is not like super keto. No. You want to go with the thigh for the... Juicy and I can't watch him eat the thighs. He he likes the thighs. He likes the darker meat, and he likes it on the bone. Yeah, because that's how it comes. I cannot watch him eat. <laughs> she can't watch somebody eat chicken off the bone. It, it bothers oh, her. Oh, it's 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 horrible. <laughs> I'm bad with that. It looks good until they start eating it, and then I can see the bone. And she the... has a consistency issue. She has a texture issue. She has a food touching things issue. I think there are some. Issues there that yeah. you might I like the, talk the kids' to divider about. plates. I love those. Yeah. Um, those work really well lunch for tray. me. Lunch yeah. tray. Think of the lunch trays. <laughs> lunch trays. Those work well. He bought me a set of them one year thinking he was funny, and I absolutely loved them and wore them out. So yep. um, We have lunch tray type containers with all the separate pieces. Yes, Tommy it's... McCoy, Bill definitely is a weight guesser, and he's pretty much almost always right on the money. Pretty close. He's, he's, I got to say. He's pretty good. Which, sometimes we had a friend that said, how much do you think I weigh? And I was like, don't ask him if you don't want him to, <laughs> you don't want him to say it out yeah, loud. It because she was like, he won't get anywhere close. And I said, mm. we'll see. And, and, and he did. And he was like, what, a pound off? And uh, she was a little stunned. But stunned. She's like, there's, and there's no way he could have known that because she's just a friend. It's not like she's at her house and weighs in or anything. So, so I got this stuff. When I make my chicken thighs... I just put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper on them. I put this stuff. It's called Stubbs Barbecue Spice Rub. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to stick it up here by the camera. I don't even know if that'll come through or not. But oh my goodness, this stuff is amazing. Well, the problem is that uh, Kroger has stopped carrying it. It's closed out. So every Kroger I go to, it shows, uh, what does it say? It says closed out, closed out. Uh, for $1.99. So we've uh, Laquisha. Hit. I hope that's how you pronounce your name. Hello, um, good to, good to see you. Thanks for joining. So we are hitting all the Krogers trying to get the Stubbs barbecue rub because that's what Daddy likes. Whoa, Tommy, what's that? Um, he, Tommy McCoy says I did a healthy wager and won thirteen hundred dollars and lost fifty six pounds. It's probably kind of what Julie's doing too. Yeah, with the that thing where pharmacist. you put in a weight and then you predict a weight that you'll be at, and then if you hit that goal, ah, you get your money okay. back plus extra. Healthy advantage or something. I forget what she called it. So Keita Michelle, um, Bill actually is the one that eats one item at a time. So she asked if, if we eat <laughs> we one at a time. We both got our eating issues. <laughs> um, so he does one at a time. I will... You'll graze. I'll graze, but I don't put more than... Typically, I don't put more than one flavor in my mouth at a time. However, I don't know. Taste buds have changed a little bit. I love almonds. And I love, love, love Kraft Extra Sharp Cheddar Cheese. And I have no idea why, because this is just a new thing for me. The two of those together actually taste really, so I'll take a bite of the cheese and then put an almond in my mouth. I don't know why I like those two flavors together so well. It's kind of like it works. most people like like the chocolate and a, a chocolate-covered pretzel. Oh, yeah. I salt love chocolates. I love pretzels. The... I hate them together. It just doesn't do it for me. It's totally I like dark chocolate and coffee. You know, you like oh, chocolate yeah. or biscuit I don't drink coffee. coffee. I, don't drink I coffee. love coffee. Bill, love. That's one thing we were talking today. We said, you know, if you had a cheat day. <laughs> we did talk about this what, in the car. <laughs> what, what would you do? What would you eat on a cheat day? And Bill actually said he would cheat and have a real cup of coffee. A the real way coffee. he likes it. I have tried so many coffee additives. I've tried so many different variations. I've tried so many different things, and nothing comes close to what I used to drink, which was basic black coffee with, um, I forget what the creamer was. Who, who made that? I don't know. Um, coffee made, I think. French no. vanilla coffee made little tubs, 
And, but, there, but I think they're like three carbs and two sugars per little tub. Yeah. And uh, yeah, if I was if I was going back, I would probably just stick one of those in the coffee. Right. Maybe two Splenda. Yeah, and see, I don't do coffee. I don't even like the smell of coffee. So for me, that wasn't a hard. I do like uh, wild berry zinger tea. So, and I don't like the artificial sweeteners. So you used to put honey in it, didn't you? A little bit of honey, you usually put sugar, um, although we had a contractor did, that did um, our drywall in our basement when um, Bill and I... Oh, that's right. He was we the actually did our um, basement ourselves for the most part, except for drywall, plumbing, and the actual hard connection of the electrical. Yeah, I wanted We ran all the wires and everything, box. but I'm like, you're not touching the box and I'm not touching the box. Yeah. So the guy that did the drywall, um, he has a honey farm. He, he has his own honeybees. He has thousands of them and so he brought us pure honey i have never had pure honey that was the best honey that i've ever had so very, that i did put in my tea not the other honey either. very different than the store it was honey. so smooth and and like almost thinner but yeah just the true honey you know i mean i don't know what they put in the stuff in the store or maybe <laughs> they try and shelf life it or something i'm not sure but it was awesome Michelle says no coffee, and she's going to unsubscribe. Yeah. But Bill loves coffee, no, so I he love drinks enough coffee. for both of us. And, and here, so we'll replace myself with our oldest daughter, Lauren, who loves coffee. My yep. mother-in-law, Bill's mom, um, used to let, she's grandma, and she's, to, I'm grandma, and I, they can do whatever they, do whatever they want. If they want, want yeah. a chocolate shake for breakfast, they can have a chocolate shake for breakfast. So That's I've learned, I'm like, whatever, it is what it is. So they got my daughter drinking coffee. So we would go out for breakfast. Not me, but mom. Um, my, yeah, mom. my my mother in law. So we would go out for breakfast, and I would order an orange juice, and Lauren would order a coffee, and they would bring it back, and they'd put the coffee in front of me, and we'd switch, and they'd be like, "Uh, this is for the kids." I said, "No, the coffee's for her. The orange juice is for me." So a lot of, a lot of kids these days in high school all yeah. get the coffees, and heck, that Starbucks across from her high school was so busy in the morning from all the kids going in. Right. There. Not the parents, the kids. <laughs> Tommy McCoy says all cream and a splash of coffee. <laughs> yeah. Bill, Bill likes, uh, he likes the French use... vanilla is probably his favorite. Yeah, French, French vanilla coffee mate. I still have them, but I just haven't cracked one open in three months. They're probably going bad by now. Right. Probably expiring. Lauren, I get to go get our oldest daughter tonight. I'm so excited. For she only, her. you know, she's at um, U of M in Ann Arbor. Um, she's taking the easy route. Um, she's doing cellular and molecular biology. Um, yeah. So she's been working in a lab with a doctor and um, absolutely enjoying her experience at U of M. She's in MRADS, the Michigan Research um, and Scholar, Discovery Scholar, something like to that effect. Um, but they live in a learning community. So her entire floor in their dorm is all MRAD students, which is really cool. Uh, she just did a mobile lab um, so she was guest student teaching at uh, two of the high schools this uh, last week when she was on spring break yeah for me for sugar I was just using Splenda and uh, that's kind of a kind of a gray area for keto a lot of people are saying you know don't use a Splenda so now I use monk fruit drops I like them don't get monk fruit drops and go like that don't never put them on your tongue oh my goodness no they are horrible bad. they're pretty bad <laughs> It's I tried disgusting. the monk fruit drops in my tea, and I'm that person. Kind of, we've had a couple people that have asked us about um, noodles, and I forget the name of the one shintake noodle, or the something shintake like. noodle or something. And again, because me and my consistency issues, I'd rather not have the noodle. One of the girls that work um, at Costco, quite a few of them had done, done keto about a year ago, and so now they're kind of just maintaining. And so they're always trying to get me to try new things. I'm like, oh, I don't want to try that. Was it wild caught cod that you um, tried the one I, I did try wild mm. caught cod. Um, it wasn't horrible. I love the seasoning on it. She used turmeric, I think, was the seasoning. Now, I've not cooked with turmeric before, so I feel like I want to find a recipe with turmeric. So if you know of any for chicken, let me know. Um, I'm sure that wasn't so one. bad, but the other day she had me try. It looked really good because it had um, Alfredo sauce. And there was some chicken and there was a noodle. It was a chickpea noodle. Mm. Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> See, I don't know that that works for me for keto stuff though. I, I don't know. I just, I would, I tried it. It's, it's better for just you, but no, bite. it was not very good. No, I think that's going to be full of carbs. I don't know. I could be wrong. You're waiting at Wendy's. What are you going to get at Wendy's, Tommy? I like Frosty. This. Oh. 
The spicy chicken sandwich is the yeah. bomb there. That's probably my favorite. I like the chili from Wendy's. Even though it's supposed to be like the day old hamburger that they chop up and stick in the chili. But <laughs> I still like the chili. <laughs> Goodness. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, oh we, so we tried something new. Moon, moon cheese. cheese. This, this comes from Costco, correct? Yes, from Costco. Well, not just from Costco. This one was cheddar moon cheese. And we were kind of looking for something like a crunchy snack. Thinking, you know, we'll give them a try. Uh, they're not bad. It's more for you because it's cheese. It's just cheese. <laughs> Bill, didn't, Bill didn't necessarily like it. We tried the wisps. Parmesan Those wisps. Things, the Parmesan wisps. They were little circle crackers, almost like they a Ritz. They were not very good. They so, were not good. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, just a little puff, the magic dragon. I like them. They're not bad. They're just not amazing. Maybe if you one like, carb, one gram of carbohydrates for how many? Um, is it measured out by the six ounce? Six to seven or? pieces, okay. or twelve grams. So a little handful. No sugar, no dietary fiber. Five grams of protein. Mostly just cheese, I'm guessing. Mostly just cheese. And then puffed up. But I can't kind of have to put them aside because because you'll eat seventy instead of seven, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But moon cheese, and they make I think they make like seven or eight different um, flavors. Flavors, yeah. I would be excited to try some of the others because cheddar is not a favorite of mine. Uh, those baconator fries are really yummy. <laughs> oh, is that got bacon and cheese and fries? Yeah. Uh huh. See, I I would eat that, but I need it to do it with a fork. Because I just don't want to touch all the bacon grease and the... Bill eats his chicken with the, and pizza and I everything with a fork. I eat pizza and everything with a fork. Yep. Mm -hmm. I do. Well, it's, it's easier to control that way. It's easier to control that way, too. <coughs> now I'm choking on your little moon cheese. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, yeah. <coughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the moon cheese. Why did I eat that? I don't know. That's Still look good. at his face. That's not good. <laughs> ah, I didn't like it. So yeah, um, I don't know if you've come in recently or whatnot, but tomorrow is our what, 15 week? 15 week. 15 week update on keto. And um, we'll be doing our, nothing crazy, just the weights and just where we're at for the week. Right. Which we don't know, by the way. It's Friday, uh, we'll know tomorrow morning. Yeah. Um, we're gonna live stream it, and I believe let's shoot for like 9.15 a.m. Yeah, Eastern, I think so. Eastern time, which is Michigan uh, for us. So 9.15-ish is when I'm gonna have that ready to start for us. And uh, we're just gonna do a quick uh, a morning update instead of videotaping it, processing it, and putting it out. Because I have a little bit of time. Again, I don't have to be to work until 11. So Tommy's asking keto, uh, about keto. So there's a lot of different ways to do keto um there's very strict keto which we don't do no. i would say we're probably more of a the like moderate a moderate middle yeah kind of like a lazy keto would you say we're, we are um we are monitoring our carbs and our right. protein and our fats uh the macros uh through carb manager right an app on our phone which we use for free we don't use the premium because we're cheap and uh <laughs> we stick to less than 20 carbs a day totally yeah. and uh um, basically, you know, each no sugar, person... we cut out sugar. Um, there are a few things. So if you're strict keto, you're not eating one oh, granular if... of sugar. Well, yeah. And then strict keto could be like only grass fed and only organic and only, I can't right. afford that. Honestly, <laughs> when I go to Kroger, I buy the, Bye, Tommy. the big thing of thighs and it's kind of cheap. It's seven bucks, six bucks. And you know, if I was to get the only organic, this, that, and the other, it would probably double. Hey, there's a I timer. Need, you need a little what you call it? Yes. Let there me you go. take a peek and see. Oh, this is uh like peak time. Mm, uh, not quite. No, not quite yet. Two. Uh, I would say yeah. Two to three. Let's do three. Oh, it smells really good. So is this supposed to be um? The, was there? <laughs> you just started the microwave. I did. I'm a dog. Um, is this supposed to be like a piece of bread or like a? A rised up bun or what? Um, just a flat. They say I heard cheesy bun. Cheesy bun. So they recommend um, that you do it. Yeah, I don't know where it's at. They recommend that you do it um, in the 
muffin top pan. Oh, something that holds the form so it Right, rise. so it holds the form. And I don't think necessarily so much so that it rises, but I think to hold the form. To hold the form. They're spreading out a little bit in the... Um, It'll still eat the, the same. Oven, which is still <laughs> It'll eat the same. Um, <laughs> so they recommend that. Um, I don't necessarily... Th I don't think it's necessary. No, so I, I'm not going to go out and buy it. Now. I don't have one, so... <laughs> right. Now, if I, if I love these... We might. I might do that. I might go out and buy it. Um, yeah. Because... Chalupas, did I say they could use it as a chalupa shell? There are a lot of mini tacos, maybe. Or, yeah. I don't know. We'll see what it tastes like. Yeah, so we'll see what it tastes like. Okay. You know, it, it looks good. Mm. I'm a picture person. I like when you go to a restaurant and they have pictures on the menu. Having the eggs in it, I'm just wondering how eggy it will taste. But with the Parmesan yeah, and the with, with all the other cheese. Hi, Alicia. How are you? Thanks for joining. We are making cheesy buns. And we are, what, about two minutes away about from two minutes pulling, away from them coming just out. Just to see what they look um, like. Yeah. 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 But this is an experiment. We're just doing this live just for fun. Just for fun. So this might turn out had, to be total garbage. I don't know. <laughs> it, it might. It might not. Who knows? Yeah. Um, just thought we'd have a little fun with the live instead of a uh, video. Yeah. I always it's easier to interact. You know, we, we, we read all your comments and thank you for all the support and the comments and the feedback. So now you can read um, them live. Yeah, so it's kind of nice because we can answer questions live while we're here. Yeah. Aw, uh, thanks, Tommy. I'm glad you think we're fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens. Normal. Yeah, pretty kind of. I feel like sort of. I always step over you. I need to just be quiet and let you talk. Nah, you're okay. Every time I say something, we just cut each other off. So I just need to We just quiet. got a lot to say. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, so tomorrow's little update uh, for our Keto 15 week will be at 9.15 Eastern Time. And uh, I don't know, where are we going to do it? Are we doing it up here? Are we doing it downstairs? We normally film downstairs in our basement, um, in our workout room actually, yeah. just against a blank wall. Maybe I'll set it up in front of our fish tank. Oh, that'd be, yeah, we, we uh, a fish tank going. We just put a 60 gallon together uh, somewhere around uh, Christmas, just after Christmas. January-ish. Yeah. And then uh, we got some fish, I would say maybe February-ish. They're still babies. They're all still little guys, but they're all African cichlids. So we got blue fish, orange fish, yellow fish. We have lots of cool... I can't wait to have babies up in my little tank Yeah, up here. lots of cool cichlids downstairs. So maybe I'll see what the camera and the, the angle and everything looks like yeah. for down there. And we'll just do a live stream in front of the fish. Yeah, that'll be that'd pretty, be pretty cool. That'd be kind of interesting. Um, and who was it? Keto Michelle, Bill actually does, he does more fasting than I do. Yeah. Um, I tend to fast, I think, just naturally. Because he'll be like, <laughs> did you eat yet? And I'm like, no, busy. no, not yeah, yet. Yeah, I, I tend to, uh, on the daily, I do 16-8. So I'll start eating at about 11 a.m. And I'll they close, and I'll close things off at about uh, 6.37. Here, let me move that so you can do that. And then I'll that's even, hot. Well, yeah, that's going to be hot. Oh, that's not bad looking. Yeah. Let's see. Actually, let me do this. Still trying to figure out what it is. Oh, for keto itself? Just eating a lower carbohydrate and watching processed carbohydrates and sugars. Obviously, you want to have as little as possible. Ideally, no sugar, yeah. Which is hard because when you start going yeah. through labels and things, everything's got sugar in it. Even taco seasoning mix has sugar in it. I mean, it's just, it's kind of, kind of crazy. Right, so Jody says they look delicious. They they actually really do look good. So now what's the deal with this? We gotta let them cool, obviously, right? Yeah, we gotta let them cool. I wonder what their consistency will be when they cool. Will they harden to a? Oh, that's more like oh. Oh, you can even make mini pizzas out of that, probably. Yes. Like it, almost like a personal cream pizza. Mm -hmm. Julia would love that. Oh my gosh. You gotta pull it back up so you can. Sure, I'll pull it back up. So you can, well, they look really good, you guys. They, they look really they good. They smell really You look too. even better than the little things to Aww, me. Aw, you're so cute. There we go. Oh, Alicia's here. Alicia would like a bite. You need to give her a virtual bite. Absolutely. Moon there cheese. Too bad we didn't have smell -o vision because they smell fantastic. Where is... 318 AM, where are you? D90, where are you? Wow. It's 3.18 a.m. there. Holy cow. Where D90 is, Michelle, it says. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, Q, Michelle, 18. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. I, I, I'm I a have a... All right. So anyway, let me zoom out. I think they might be talking about intermittent fasting. It says, I'm sending you my address, and you need to send me a cheesy butt. Okay. 
Here, there's your little reading, because <laughs> I can't read. I'm a dork. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, there you go. It went off and came back on. Those really do look pretty good. I would say that the only thing I would do is maybe blot them because they look a little oily. Because it's do. the cheese. Yeah. It's the cheese in there, right? So, gosh, what are we going to do with these today? I have a hamburger left over from yesterday. Do you want to try a hamburger on it? I still have a hamburger bun from yesterday, which was really good. Yeah. <laughs> Once we cooked those buns. Oh, that's actually we, not much coming No, I, I noticed that. Once we cooked the buns yesterday, that the video we released this morning of, um, we put a little more brushed butter on top of them before we ate our dinner. Oh, they were really good. Yeah, They were darn good. And it kind of filled that purpose of like wanting a bun when you're eating a hamburger. You yeah. want to eat a bun. I ended up doing open face, so I only had the bottom on yeah, mine. I saw that. Um, the hamburger was much thicker than I'm used to. I, I like the, the, the thin... Culver's, if anybody has Culver's, I think if I had a cheat day, it would be a Culver's burger and fries. You should do a live stream of just what would you cheat on keto day exactly. kind of chat. Yeah. Benny Hanna's would be good. Oh. Fried rice. Benny Hanna's. Now, here's the funny thing is I'm... Not craving it? I'm No, I, of course I would eat it. But um, rice, I've tried tons and tons and tons of rice and it's, again, the consistency. However, the Benny Hanna's chicken fried rice, but I think it's because it's... Garlic butter. It's the garlic butter and then there it's not sticky it's cooked very well because it's fried rice um so that i can do oh i want my rings back oh is it before okay. i panic and that i did this yesterday i put them in my pocket and then last night before bed i panicked because i didn't have my rings you know the little things yeah. bill and i are going to be celebrating our 25th anniversary on june 25th um this year so we're super excited um we've been together 30, 30 years 30 ish yeah and married 25 in june so she still puts up with me i think i'm her Did clown I? i'm here to amuse you because <laughs> you never know what i'm going to say or do. I, I, I don't it's true i never know what he's going to say um yeah we typically do an 18 6 for the fasting um yeah 16 8 and then 16, uh, eight, yeah 16 yeah 16, 17 8. 7 yeah, it's, it's flexible some days I'll get up and I'm not hungry and I won't eat till noon. Some days I'll get up and I'm hungry, I meet at 10.30. But then I just try and be mentally aware of that and close the window a little sooner in the evening, you know. But uh, yeah, I, I'm digging the fasting and I was trying to get in like a 36 to a 48 hour fast per week. I did not do one this week. Just gonna You're just going to rip into it, huh? Let's see what we got. So we've got to do a little bit of math on this because it didn't have anything on the sheet about the macros, right? So you just okay. got to add up the mozzarella, add up the, what was it, almond flour? Or no? No, no, no almond flour. Parmesan, it's, mm, that's really good. Oh, that's really good. Wow. That's... Guys, you should really take down, Bill put the recipe in yeah, when we're um, done. a little bit later when we're done. I'll stick it into that's the description. That's actually really good. Now, if you could form that into more of a bun shape, where it was a little thicker, yeah. it might even be better. I think I have to say that I like this better than the one I made last night. They're different, different things for it. They're different. I like it. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So I'll have to do a little math and figure out for these four where the macros fall. I don't think you're going to be high on carbs because you're just cheese, eggs, right? Cheese, eggs, and cheese, right? Three ingredients. Yeah, the ingredients um, were a half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese. Uh, a half a cup, no, excuse me, one cup of the shredded mozzarella cheese, a half a cup of the Parmesan cheese, and two large eggs, and then whatever seasonings you want to put in. I just put Italian seasoning in. Very good, though. Very good. Chocolate. Oh, I miss chocolate. See, I like dark chocolate, so it doesn't bother me to have some chocolate. <laughs> so, Kathy, every day you're over on a fast for protein or calories, just can't seem to get it right. You'll find that good mixture. Um, I know for us, having bacon and scrambled eggs in the morning tends to do very well. That's a nice compliment hey, to Greg each other. Hey, Greg and Stacy just popped in. Our unscripted keto lifestyle. I don't know if it's Greg or Stacy though. Might hey be guys. Stace. I should be doing this with my pocket also. Osmo. Osmo. Pocket. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey Greg. He says it's Greg. Yeah. Yeah, so what we did today, Greg, is we made a cheesy bun. And um, I have to say it's really good. 
We did not follow the directions of putting it into a muffin top pan where it right. gave it more form and shape and probably rise too because it would hold the edges. But it don't matter because this was dang good. No, Greg, he didn't get one. He talks about it every day. What's that? Pocket? That, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's more of a money issue. I, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. I gotta sell some toys to buy some toys. Mm -hmm. I probably got about, I don't know, too many toys. I have to sell some toys, and if I raise the money from the toys, then I can buy other toys. This is really good. Even just really by good. itself, it's really good. I, mine's gone. <laughs> I ate mine. We oh. ripped one in half. <laughs> we ripped one in half, and I ate mine already. And that didn't make me gag it's like this. It's got a nice texture to it. Like um, the moon cheese made me gag. The moon cheese. I think it's just because it's cheddar. I don't want cheddar. I want like Parmesan or Italian herb or mm -hmm. something different than... Cheddar's than the best. I don't like cheddar cheese. Hey, Windy City Frenzy. Whereabouts in Chicago are you? In the south suburbs? Or are you downtown? I grew up in the south suburbs of Chicago. Then we lived in Palatine and mm -hmm. Arlington Heights and Schaumburg and all those fun, crazy cities. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Katie, on the 25 years. Yep. Yeah. He puts up with me. I, we're a good compliment. We're you know, kind of yin and yang, I think. We, we both got our own list, the laundry list of things that are weird, <laughs> you know, the hearing issues, the everything, you know. So we kind of just put up with each other and compliment each other and support each other. That's kind of how it works. Now, now we're going to eat all these just standing here, huh? Kind of. What, what was the thought process for this? A sandwich? A no, burger? I just wanted to make it. I just, don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to make it. <laughs> it looks good on the picture. And when she just wanted to make it, I said, hey, since we set up all the stuff for the hamburger bun yesterday, you want to do a live stream and see if it works? Is uh, live stream working good? Is the sound working? Is the picture Thanks, moving? Thanks, Domestic Butler. Have a good day. Because what ended up happening... Oh, Buffalo Grove. Well, oh, yeah. Okay. We know Buffalo Grove. Yeah. Uh, Julie, Lauren was born in Barrington. Yeah, we were. We lived we were in Arlington Palatine. Heights for a little bit, then in yeah, Palatine. Yeah, Palatine when, when she was born. Um, but yeah, our live stream, the first one we tried, it was a huge fail. And I have no idea why. It was uh, very glitchy, very... We have, a, like, we have a very fast internet speed, and even our upload speed is good. And I'm using an iPhone 8 Plus, it's a newer phone. Something technically was not working. Maybe it was even a YouTube issue. But everything was all pixely and everything was all stuttery and staticky and it just didn't work well. Man, that so was curious. really good, you guys. I'm, I'm excited by it. I will definitely be making this one again. That's so simple. It, it was very simple. It took me, what, three minutes to whip together? Yeah, one cup of one, what was it? One cup of cup mozzarella. Cup of mozzarella, a uh, half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Um, we Two use eggs. the grated Parmesan cheese just because I don't like the consistency of the... Um, Shredded. The shredded cheese. Yeah. Um, and then and two large eggs and some seasoning. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we had. We so live on this used. stuff. The shaky cheese parmesan. We call it shaky cheese in this house. Greg, Is that okay. what you do? Yeah, we call it shaky cheese. Greg, I'm going to put it um, in the... Oh, we'll put it in the description like as soon as the video is done. Bill's going to do it. Yeah, um, I'll copy and paste it I in I don't have necessarily a website. I found it. Somebody posted, one of my friends posted it on Facebook um, for me. So, said, of course, I said, okay, I'll try it. Yeah, um, a lot It's of... really good. And you know, it's it's almost like a um, like a pita. Yeah, that's that's a really you know. Oh, oh I should do some lamb. Left? I should do some lamb meat okay. and some tzatziki sauce and make a little gyro out of it. <laughs> We're such dorks. As soon as I folded it, it's like, oh, do we have taco meat? I think we. I think I ate all the taco. The meat. taco meat's gone. Yeah. Dang it. That but, would be perfect. No, for, we can do many uh, many gyros with some lamb meat and then season them up and then <laughs> throw some tzatziki on it, the lettuce. Oh, <laughs> That'd be awesome. We're gonna have we're gonna have to do a video of like mini euros. Yeah, I I love that. Being from Chicago and having a euro versus out here and having a euro <laughs> not the same. Is not the same. It's kind of the same with pizza. Yeah. Yeah, we had some amazing pizza places out in the Chicago area, and uh, out here it's like chains. You got Little Caesars yeah. and Dominoes and Jets and all this kind of. And pizza Hacken's house pizza. wasn't so bad. Pizza um, house wasn't Indiana bad. Arbor. That was decent. A little expensive, although. Aurelio's, the pizza that we like back home from Chicago. Um, home with Aurelio's. Home with yeah. Aurelio's. That's the best. There's no replacement. Um, for us. For yeah. us, anyway. Um, and Barton's Pizza. In Hammond, Indiana, Barton's Pizza. Oh, my gosh. That was what I grew up on. So, uh, we had Barton's, like, every Friday night. It's probably partially why I got some. Oh, okay. Greg, when are you doing Are you going to? Are you doing it live? You're, um, 
the keto yeast buns. Are you doing that live or are you going to do a video and then post it? They're going to do a keto yeast bun. Ooh. So I, my first Greg, experience I had... To, Greg, you're supposed to like show us how to make that other bun that you were making too. That Was it the 90 second bun or something? I don't know what it was. Uh, Greg had showed a very quick picture in one of his videos on our unscripted keto. And uh, he had uh, done a bun and he said, well, I'll do, I'll do a little video of that later uh, to show how you make it. <laughs> Tell, tell Stacy, coming from this Stacy, the first one was a little nerve wracking, but you know what? I think it just kind of, you just see who we are and how we interact. He says he's going to do a video and post it because Stacy's afraid to do a live. Oh, don't be afraid to do a live. You know what? It is what it is. And we're all <laughs> human. And, yeah. you know. and, and you know, this could have been a total flop. This could have went right. right off the pan and been a mess and it would have been funny then. <laughs> And we would just laugh at it because I, I don't know. No, I, I dig this. This is going to be like put into the mix. I want a gyro now. I want to make this into a gyro. I want to make it into a taco. What can we do that would change the taste besides Italian seasoning to be more on the gyro side? Um, what would you use for that? Like, yes, just pepper. Um, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know my spices well enough. I gotta look up some... I don't know either. If you guys have suggestions, let us know. I'll have to look up some videos because I would like to make that into a pita for a year. Get some lamb meat. Bah! <laughs> there was a good video on YouTube that had a... Um, she had made lamb meat and just put it into a pan and she had put all kinds of spices in it and uh, that looked delicious to me. Bill Tzatziki still has sauce. to do his date. Um... A day what of I eat in the day. Yep. I will. So Maybe I'll do that for midweek, like Tuesday, Wednesday. Try and get that out. Man, guys, these are really good. Yeah, and so I'm you such keep a picky eating eater. The, now there's been a couple of things where I'm like, eh, eh, not my favorite. I tasted it and that was it. I think Julia would like these too. And they just they look good. They don't taste eggy. Like no. some of the breads you've made before that are a keto related thing just had a really eggy taste. Yeah. This doesn't taste eggy. We did the, what was it, the cloud bread? Didn't that like it. That was horrible. Didn't like it. I was so disappointed with it, I just I took the whole parchment paper and everything, and Bill's like, <laughs> well, don't you throw threw it away. away. I said, yeah. I, yep, I didn't like it. It was it was not good. It was not good. I didn't like the consistency, I didn't like the taste. Ew. No. Yeah, Greg, you cloud bread, it was gross. But everybody talks about it. When you They're, watch videos yeah. and you watch keto stuff, it's like, it's oh my It's great to have a hamburger on. We it's gotta make great cloud to make bread. toast. Bread. Nah, not for me. No. No, but this was very good. It's actually got consistency too. Yeah. And now that it's kind of, um, now that it's kind of getting a little cooler, it's firming up a little more like a pita too. And that's even mm -hmm. more bonus. That's cool to me. Cool, cool, cool. I haven't tried macadamia nuts. We bought a package and I don't know where they went. We have a small package, like a, from the baking area, you could buy like, you know, a $2 package of macadamia. And uh, we bought a, a small package to try them because we didn't want to spend like $12 on the big bag at Costco. And uh, I think it just went into the cupboard and then we forgot about it. Stacy's looking now. Did you find the macadamias? Did they expire? Macadamia no. nuts. So I just feel like they're going to be dry and I don't know why. It's probably not Just the have case. a drink nearby. <laughs> yeah, I want to try macadamia nuts. This is like a first time tasting a macadamia. Maybe I've had one. This almost looks like the nuts they put on top of a brownie. You know? No. That's a pecan or something, isn't it? Walnut. It's not so bad. It's dry though. A little, a little, um, a little bland or, I don't know, I dig them. That's a dry roasted one. Although, I bet you that would be... As I shove the rest of them in my mouth. <laughs> I bet you that would be good in, in a bread, like you said. I like the um, oh, what was like that on the cruise banana that we had? nut bread. I I like having the nuts in the bread. Pumpkin seed bread. What was, is it? Was it pumpkin oh, seed my gosh. rolls? Pumpkin seed rolls. Okay, we were on a Royal Caribbean cruise. I'd be cheating right now. I'd be cheating right now. They, they, they used to bring seed rolls. they used to bring these pumpkin seed rolls to dinner every night, and Stacy and I would like clear the whole bowl. In fact, I, could, I even told them by like day three, we're like, just bring another bowl of those for us, please. I could make a meal out of bread and butter. We have made a meal out of bread and butter. <laughs> I have on many occasions, but yeah, so I would not have a problem with just bread and butter. Yeah, so when we do our broccoli cheese soup, 
We still have to find a nice bun. The ones that Greg had made looked like more of a bun. They were, rose up and were like a true hey, bun. Hey, Albert. So we'll try that. Is Albert Towns in here? Albert Towns is in here. Albert, oh, we just Oh, I gotta get ice cream and cupcakes for Al. No, he's done with that. <laughs> I just saw his video we today. We made cheesy buns. I don't know why they call them a bun because it's really not. It's like a bread. Listen, um, this is easy enough that I can make this. I'm even confident I could do it. It's so good. I might take one to work with me. I'm confident that I can make this. And that's, that's saying something. Yeah, it's pretty good. Super, super easy. Three ingredients. Any yeah, seasonings mozzarella. you want to add. Mozzarella, parmesan, and a couple eggs. Mm -hmm. Sweet. So, and I will put that full description into the comments because this is worth sharing. <laughs> it's just uh, thank you, good. Princess Ninja and Keto. Because you guys look fantastic. Oh, thank you. Stacy looks fantastic. I'm just still fat. <laughs> oh, you got much I got another, less. I had another 100 pounds or so to go. <laughs> much less. But you look amazing. I have to laugh. You are amazing. I'm like at that in-between size for shirts. What what and size like a large versus a medium? Or? I always wore an extra large, um, and like this shirt's a large. I feel a little self conscious because I because it's hugging me a little bit. Um, I'm not used to that because when you're bigger, bigger, tend you to know, be flowy. We have a little um, dress at Costco. I've had my eye on it for a couple of weeks now. It's like a sundress, um, isn't it? It's like a little, just a simple like a t-shirt sundress. It's a 32 degree cool. Just buy the dress. Um, and it's a dress with a little pockets. You buy the course, dress and I'll buy the Osmo pocket. That's a little off price there. Or maybe the My mobile, dress is nine bucks. Maybe I'll get the gimbal, the mobile two, which is like a third of the price. Like a hundred <laughs> bucks, 120 versus 300 and something. I wish I had to budget for the things I want to do. Do Could I think fresh grated Parmesan would change the consistency? Um, it might. It might, but I don't we're, know that it would be bad though. We're just um, using that shake of cheese. Yeah. This is Maybe the stuff we used to use for spaghetti nights. Yeah. And we would, and we still go through quite a bit because we use it for stuff like this. A little shaky cheese. <laughs> I haven't, I haven't put shaky cheese on a salad. Craig says I'm excited. Me too, William. Yeah. <laughs> Bill, go it's always been Bill, and then one day I get <laughs> tagged in a post listen. that says Will Austin tagged you. I'm like, when the hell's Will Austin? <laughs> <laughs> now listen, I've always been Bill. My pretty much my entire adult life but I got there was a time for like maybe a month straight to everyone I don't even know what I want to say this because then everybody's gonna start calling me that someone was calling me something close to Bill it wasn't Billiam but it was ticking me off I didn't like the word I didn't like the name and I didn't want to be called the name so I, I was mad one day and I just changed it on Facebook to Will because it's another name I went by too as a kid. Right. And uh, and I changed it to Will, and I like the name Will. So I kind of go Bill or Will, depending on who it is, family, <laughs> friends, whatever. Greg says he might have a twenty percent off coupon for you. Sweet. Hey, Keto Michelle, if you end up making these with the fresh grated Parmesan, let me know how you like it. Um, and I recommend trying it. It is yeah. so simple and so it, good. It, it, it is really good. I wish I had taco meat because I would put. I was going to say, is the oven still on? Just make more. <laughs> no, I got to go to work. Well, she's eating like another half one. Oh, Julia's home from the bus. Oh. Bus just pulled in. So I might have Julia. Four, yeah, it's 420, 430. Mm. Well, hey guys, thanks for stopping in. Was, no, she's, Billy. She's, she's no, no, not Billy. It was close to Billy though. Uh, yeah, so. Okay, listen. I don't want to see this in comments. I don't want to see this all over Facebook or whatever. I was getting called Billy Bob or Billy Joe, oh. like like Hillbilly Billy, and I and I didn't like it, and I just it bothered me. And I'm 51 years old, and I didn't want to be called Billy Joe or Billy Bob or you know I need whatever. I don't even know how it started, but then it, for like a couple of weeks straight, that's all it was on Facebook, and I was like, okay, I'm done with this. So I just changed my name on Facebook to Will because that's that is my name. It's actually more my name than Bill. <laughs> It's officially it's William, so Will, and uh, you know it's a little Thanks, more Thanks, Princess Ninja. Have a good day too. I'm about ready to. Um, yeah, Stacy's gonna head off to Costco. Head off. I gotta go to Costco 5:30. Yeah, we'll you see start you tomorrow morning for our live update. So. Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow morning, 9:15 a.m. Eastern Time, Michigan. Be there uh, or be square. We will yeah. we will attempt to set this all up and do a live stream for our quick weigh-in. It probably won't last long. I don't know. We'll just see. Yeah. 
I don't even know if anybody's going to come in. But at least after it's done, then it'll post as a video. And then right. people can come in and check it out like they do on our regular updates. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. Just something different. And then that way, too, if there are questions, because sometimes there's questions in the comments. Right. If we have a setup going, we could see it and answer live, which would be kind of cool. Kind of cool. So yeah. second live this stream hopefully is going much better than the, the last, the first one. That we I hope it's streaming today. well and not jittery and bulky and uh, buffery and uh, pixely. I guess we'll see as soon as we turn it off. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. We appreciate <laughs> yeah, thanks it. For, thanks for stopping in. And I will put the description in of how to make this into the description. As soon as we're done with this, I'll go over to the computer and pop it all in. Cool. Cool. All right, All right guys, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Definitely a lot of fun. Oh, it's our pleasure. Thank you guys for coming in and watching. We figured if somebody comes in, they might come in. If not, here, we're going to do a quick taste test. Oh, yeah. In here, we're live right now. I made something I made something uh, that I think you might like. So come on in. Well, you got to get the sucker out of your mouth. Give me a sucker. All right. So this is a cheesy Here's bun. Here's Julia. And it's sort of like a piece of bread. I want your honest opinion, not just because we're on YouTube. Uh, but what do you think of the taste of that? Because you didn't care for the bun last night, right? Uh -uh. She takes the tiniest little bite. Yeah, because she doesn't. It's good. You like yeah, it? Not bad, huh? I feel it so much. I... See, the other thing is I get. I feel like there's cheese grease on it. It's really not, though. No, I didn't see it on my fingers, but I felt it. You like it? Yeah. Did you have a good day? Yeah. Sweet. Say hi to everyone. Hi. I got you some library books today. Treasure Island. Thanks. I survived. What else? What else did we get? We got Treasure Island. We got... Do it. So... Oh, the Titanic and here. Lusitania books. Oh, thank you. And here. then I survived... So here's Julia. The Battle of D-Day. She's 10. She's 5'3 already. Well, that's my fault for being so darn tall. Yeah. She knew this when she married me. You're going to have I monster did. children. I <laughs> You did. knew this. So here you go, kiddo. All right. Um, a bunch of good books. Also, is Gracie still with me? Um, is Gracie going to pick me up? You know, it's a good question. I'll text her. All right, guys. We'll see. we'll see you. Take care. So we'll send you off to church. 